You can also listen to us on SoundCloud at soundcloud.com forward slash the clock cleaners. Hello and welcome to episode 18 of the Clock Cleaners Podcast. I'm Matt. And I'm Keith. And today we're going to be talking about... Uh, WWE Evolution going into WWE Crown Jewel. So and show, how we made this drastic movement. Yeah, so we went from a show that's all about women to a show that's anti-woman. Right. I mean, I guess that's not the premise of the show, but the environment yeah. is. Uh... No, I'm gonna go with it. This WWE is officially after Sunday, going. <laughs> nah, okay. No, nah, <laughs> that it's too, that's too much. You're gonna thing, really so. uh, rustle some feathers. Yeah, that's with, fine. Uh, what you're about to say, which is fine. Yeah, I'm taking that's... on. I'm taking on a multi-billion-dollar company. All by myself. Yeah, because we. Uh, that's been so successful for other people that have attempted it. That's true. Um, anyway but yeah so we'll just talk quickly about evolution we yeah. were there live it uh, exceeded my expectations at least yeah uh it was another case of like they did a really crappy job building and then the pay-per-view ended up being like good the problem i had with the show is if they wanted to make it seem like a big deal they should actually have a production crew there. Production? Production <laughs> crew there. Because yeah. Because it was taped like an NXT TakeOver. Yeah. Which... NXT TakeOvers are good. It's not a WWE pay-per-view, though. That's fair. That's fair. So, it just right off the gate, it's like, obviously, they don't really care that much. Oh, yeah. They probably sent the whole NXT crew to yeah, take care of it. Yeah, it's a shame. It's It really is a shame. So um but you know i had this really i guess feel good moment i think it was more or less during the becky and charlotte match mm -hmm. when the crowd was super into it and i was like this event everybody bought tickets i actually wants to be here that's what it seemed like and it's like these women were able to sell out an arena this wasn't you know it didn't have the, so you, the male stars too it was just nice to see so you're saying that these were like actual wrestling fans not like people who just go to go to yeah an event? that's what it seemed like. i guess yeah there was a lot of there's a lot of i mean how many people were dressed up true um even during and this confused the crap out of me a lot of the returning women during the battle royal got like very like good reactions yeah. which is just strange yeah like, I, I obviously don't have any problem with it. It's just, like... Because Kelly Kelly got a very good reaction. That confused me a little bit. But I guess she was popular when she was around. Huh? Yeah. That sounds about right. Um, But it was a good show. A lot of fun. Yeah. Um, yeah, no, overall, really, really good time. Mm -hmm. I mean, the, main, the wrong main event went on last. Oh, absolutely. But, you know. But it does kind of make sense. Oh, absolutely. Supposedly... Get it. Um, because the show closed with Ronda meeting everybody except for Nia Jax and Nikki Bella, or in the Bellas at the ramp, mm -hmm. which was a little strange. Um, apparently, Becky was supposed to beat up Ronda. At. Really? That's what I heard. Hmm. Or at least there was a rumor that that was supposed to be what happens. Right. Which led to what? the match at Survivor Series. I gotcha. I think um, they... Because they had a little back and forth, I think, on Twitter, mm -hmm. Twitter or something like that. Yeah, that was that was supposed to be in conjunction with the attack. I gotcha. Um, so, but it makes sense. Yeah. Um, Becky and, versus Ronda is probably going to be quite good. Oh yeah. Um, uh, regardless, I I mean we all know the outcome that's probably going to happen, and it's probably going to piss off a lot of people. And WWE has booked themselves into a lose lose situation here well you have the most over face or the most over heel in the company mm -hmm. against one of the more popular faces yeah and someone that's obviously being pushed by wwe mm -hmm. there's an agenda there yes 100 percent. there really is um but it's not like she hasn't proven her worth no oh, yeah. so it, it's not like you can really feel like that ronda's getting pushed unfairly no, but you knew as soon as they brought her in that the spotlight was going to be 100% on her and WWE was going to use this to further push the woman's yep. revolution, which is now the evolution or whatnot. I don't, it's, it's, I don't so think annoying. there's any real name to it. No, I know, point. but they just change it every so often. That's true. Um, but, but yeah, Becky and Charlotte stole the show on Sunday. Yeah, easily. Um, Ronda versus Nikki wasn't actually really that bad. It wasn't, but I mean, it wasn't that a was... squash match either. Which no, is a but surprising. you utilized Bree, so it's true. 
But so, if it but that just kept if there wasn't the outside interference, it would have been yes. a squash but, match. But you know that makes it more entertaining. It's true because there was actually a point where it was somewhat believable that Nikki would have stolen it. Oh yeah, because she hit the rack attack and actually or Ronda kicked out obviously. Mm-hmm. But uh, um, battle royal was fun. Yeah, Nia uh, going over, which is the safe bet. It's true because Ronda and Nia already have had a match together. So kind of. Well, they they had a match. Yeah, and then but it was Alexa yeah. cut it short. But yeah. okay, so we never got a definitive end to their match. Yes, but um, Trish and Lita beat up Mickey James mm-hmm. and Alicia Fox, but that wasn't really a surprise. No. Um, the uh, Bailey, Sasha, and Natalia versus the Riot Squad was pretty good. Yeah. Um, the May Young Classic finals was great yeah it was good yeah yeah it was really um, good um and Kyrie sane versus shanna baszler despite the fact that the the outcome i didn't like the match was good yeah no i didn't care for the outcome yeah, but no one, i didn't really want to see shanna baszler stick onto the title but but uh, Kyrie, all, she was made strong yeah she oh, took no, on three people yeah <laughs> no if anything she looked better yeah. after it um, but I was going to say is at least if she's the one who comes up instead of Shayna, I'd be happier with that. Right. I'd much rather see her on the main roster than Shayna. Makes sense. I like the idea of having like the, uh, the well, MMA girls down. Well, eventually it's they just, will, that, the, that's yes. going to be the complete spotlight. But, but I'd rather see them rule NXT right. for a yeah, little while. Fine. Just like the Undisputed Era has been. Yeah. Um, and that's gonna keep NXT going a little bit for a while until they get more people and everything. Not that NXT doesn't have a lot of people right now, <laughs> but the the women are still a little fresh. Yeah. Well, I, I don't know, or we don't know what they've signed or who they've signed from, from the May Young Classic yeah, and things so, like that. But that, but they're fresh still. Oh right? yeah, yeah. I mean, no, so absolutely. If you allow the the, uh, I guess the. Like the Shayna, who's been around for a while, the veterans mm-hmm. to take on the the rookies. It's funny to think they are the veterans here. Well, with it, the amount of turnover that NXT has, there's really it's true. If you're around for a year or more, you're you're yeah. a long time veteran, pretty much. <laughs> that is fair. Well, well, to a certain extent, right, right, of right. the people that come in with a name, mm-hmm. there's plenty of new people who are brand new that don't don't yeah have that recognition yeah so uh but yeah that was that was evolution i believe that was all the matches yeah yeah um oh we had the dark match the rhea ripley versus i didn't uh, actually see that though i, I forgot that. her name dakota kai yeah i was surprised it was her yeah instead of the person who was supposed to be Nyla Dawn. Yeah. yeah but whatever yeah this is what it no, is very um, good show very fun yeah I love the uh, stage too. I really liked the. Yeah, that was the, nice. I mean, obviously it was low quality, but it was different. Yes. And that's that's all we ask for, uh-huh. you know. Which that's... is funny because I saw, um, I don't remember. I think they might have shown it on SmackDown, like an older clip of uh, just a mid early two thousands pay per view, and the set was the same for the pay per view as it was for a normal SmackDown, where it had the Tron off to the side of the the stage. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Huh. And it just said like SummerSlam or something like that. It might have been honestly Brock and The Rock. That's weird. At SummerSlam, yeah, that's I'm pretty sure that was like that. Yeah, because I know now the pay per views are pretty much oh, like the just... Raw stage. Mm-hmm. So yeah, yeah, whatever. But um, moving on to Raw. Yeah, yeah. Um, we won't go into everything. Uh, no. So John Cena is officially out. Yes. Bobby Lashley is in mm-hmm. his place. Yeah, because Baron Corbin was so impressed with <clears throat> his uh, his ferocity. What beat up his buddy uh, Finn Balor? Yeah, so I thought Bobby Lashley was supposed to be hurt. Same thing with Samoa Joe; they were both reportedly hurt. And now all people of a sudden, lie. people get bad information. I guess. But... I, I mean, honestly, that makes sense. Somebody leaks bad information, and all of a sudden they come back, and you're like, "Oh, well, Bobby Lashley never left." It's true. Joe did. Yeah. So it would make sense for Joe to be hurt. It's true. Um, but. Because I'm like, oh, maybe they'll something will happen. Actually, first I thought Leo Rush came out to announce that he was too important to f- face Finn or something like that. And <laughs> he then, already beat him last. No, no, Finn won last. Yeah, week. Finn won last week. Yeah. So, but whatever. Which he didn't even. I mean, Finn won again technically. He yes. Won by DQ. Uh huh. It's true. Um, but yeah, they they did find a good way to write John Cena out of Crown Jewel. Mm-hmm. It made Absolutely. Sense. Um, um, we got a little back and forth between. Brock and Braun. Mm-hmm. Um, so there was Poor that. Poor Corbin. 
So did he get two power slams? No, he got three. Three? Yeah, he tried to, I guess... Well, for, why did he attack Braun? I don't know. Because he was, like, trying to stop Braun and Brock from fighting, and then he just attacks Braun from behind, and then he gets three power slams. Yeah. And then uh, Brock hits an F5 on Braun, which is not a surprise. And that was it? Yep. And Braun gets up pretty much right away. I yeah, uh, I thought it took him a little... Yeah, but he was not happy. No. Not happy. I really nope. hope Braun wins on Friday. Mm, yeah. That yeah. that would make me happy. Mm-hmm. Um, we had a ten woman tag. Yes. Trish yours. and Lita are apparently sticking around through WrestleMania. Really? That is what the rumor is. Wow. Because I think they're gonna do a tournament for the women tag titles. <gasps> which Ooh. we were handed signs during evolution. Yes. Um so we that want is- Women's tag mitt titles. Yeah, and it was we saw them all over the shows on Raw and SmackDown. Yes. Even though SmackDown had one woman segment. It was just Becky's promo, right? There's two, technically. There's a backstage with Charlotte. Oh, okay. Right. I know it doesn't really count, but they did have an opening match that lasted like forty minutes. It's true. So but I was fine with that. No, I'm not complaining, I'm just saying there's only so much especially because you, you had the the tag, well, they had like already announced the confrontation between the New Day and the Bar, mm. and then that Crown Jewel competitor tag match that they had. So such a waste. Oh, absolutely, such a waste. We'll get to that later. Though. Yeah, um, but yeah, the ten one tag was the basically that is mashed the two tag matches that happened mm-hmm. on uh, From evolution. evolution. Yeah, which wasn't a surprise. We were expecting some sort of repeat yeah. of the matches. Mm-hmm. But uh, faces one. Yeah. Uh, Fox Sean. taps out to the sharpshooter. Yep. Um, Elias face turn confirmed. Yeah, because he uh, ended up facing Jinder. Because <laughs> it's uh, the de facto heel. Yes. Yeah, Baron absolutely. Corbin and then Jinder. Yep. So, so uh, Elias is pinned. Over WWE champion, and I use that term very loosely. <laughs> um, he he beat. Uh, oh, he beat Finn too. He beat Finn. I think he's beaten Rollins. Did he? I think so. He he feuded with him for the icy title. He probably beat him at mm, least once. I don't know. Did he beat John Cena? I feel like he's beaten John Cena. He beat him and he won that triple threat with John Cena and the Big Shit. Was it? No, it definitely wasn't the Big Who Show. Who the hell was it? Oh, it was it Braun and John Cena? It might have been. Remember there was that triple threat for the Elimination Chamber? Yeah, and he stole the match. Yeah. So, yeah, he. Uh, so yes, he's. He's, okay. I, I, right, I get fine. your point, but it's not technically. It was a, it was a joke. I know it was that a joke. was the point because of how far yeah. Jinder has fallen. Yeah, but at the same time, technically speaking, it's not like Elias has really gone up any. No, but he hasn't. He's consistent. I mean, I don't know what's worse—a fall from the top or just kind of staying the same. Well, there's a difference between an earned fall from the top or an unearned fall from the top. Well, he didn't earn getting up to the top. That's what I mean. <laughs> oh, okay, fair enough. Yeah, because Jinder had no place being on the top of the card. It's so true. His fall is more like him what being all where he belongs. Right. Yeah. So, I guess that's true. Um, but no, I think uh, I think they got something here. But with all eyes being yeah, absolutely, faced, absolutely, absolutely, it makes more sense. Well, now instead of insulting the town or the crowd, they just insult the the heels. Yeah. So it, it's it's a more effective way of getting yeah getting, I guess feuds going and yeah. everything. And we had a random triple threat tag team match for no reason. For no reason, just happened. All they said was this could help in their chase for the title. Yeah, that was it. And we had the Authors of Pain versus the, oh sorry the AOP yes. versus the Ascension versus uh, Bobby Roode and Chad Gable. Yep. And uh, Chad Gable and Bobby Roode won. Yeah. Who got pinned? Uh, it was the it was I think Victor. <laughs> yeah, that was a joke. Obviously, it was going to be the Ascension yeah. taking the pin. Well, they did beat Silly Bobby Roode and Gable two weeks in a row. Yeah, but oh, no, singles Con- matches. No, Connor beat both of them. Yes. That's what it was. That's what it was. Um, but yeah, the AOP attack after everybody after the match. Mm-hmm. Uh, why? <laughs> mm. Who knows? But uh but yeah, that's going to lead to nothing. Yeah. Um we tried to get some reasoning behind Dean's attack on Seth and that went nowhere. This is going to be a slow burn. Uh, feud. That's gonna... fine. No, oh, I'm fine with this. I, I just don't want... Well, I was going to say, I have no problem with them feuding over the IC title mm-hmm. and everything. But now you have the tag they, titles. They both are tag champions, and neither of them had the belts with them. 
You know what? They're probably going to do something stupid, like Seth is going to have to defend the tag titles by himself, and then Dean's going to run out, hit a dirty deeds, and they're going to keep winning the titles, <laughs> or keep uh, retaining them. <laughs> Actually, it'd be kind of funny. Yeah. Because uh, if Dean doesn't say a word mm-hmm. for a while, and then Baron Corbin comes out and says, like, I'm sick of this. You need to defend these titles. And then he does, and then that happens. Right. They go into Survivor Series. They beat the bar. And the- <laughs> yeah, but Seth's already facing... Oh, it's not confirmed yet. Well, it's going to happen. Yeah, well, I would assume they're going to try to drop the tag titles before well, Survivor Series. they did kind of confirm, because they said Shinsuke is going to face whoever the Intercontinental oh, yeah. Champion was, I think. Which, there's no scheduled title matches, right? It's true. Because Seth is in mm-hmm. the, uh, the U.S. Open. Yeah. So, uh... So, yeah. Or maybe they said that they, he may or... Yeah. Either way, it doesn't matter. All right, so... And we had Ember versus Naya. This oh. was their friendship gone bad or whatever it was. Well... Or sour. <laughs> yeah, kind of, because I think Ember... Uh, it's going to be a heel turn for Naya back. Yeah. Naya, it's going to be a new big show. Naya didn't like the fact that uh, <laughs> Ember was being... Uh, or outshone her. Outshowing her, yeah. At, uh, at Evolution. Yeah, because she eliminated four people, but Ember oh, that's eliminated right, that's five. That's right, 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 right. They talked about that. Wouldn't she yeah. get interviewed by Charlie or yeah, someone? Yeah, and she got more attention, and Ember right. didn't like uh, right. I didn't like So, that. yeah, they had a decent match, and then Tamina for, comes out. Yeah, for whatever reason. <laughs> and she has new theme music. It's not her, uh, to me, no. Oh, yeah. I'm like, who the <laughs> hell is this person? Because uh, I'm like, is it a new person? Yeah. Uh, Nope, it was Tamina. Yeah, and she then, came out. They stared at them, right? Both of them, and yeah. then, and then Nia, Nia hits a leg drop it, and yeah. and one, and then the two of them just stared at each other, and Tamina left. Right? Yep, it was uh, weird. So, all right, you're doing this, but you also have the whole thing with Ronda, or are we just gonna use this for until Survivor Series, and then post Survivor Series yes. it'll be Ronda? Yes. So it, well, it's clear that we're going to get SmackDown versus Raw women versus women yeah well that was announced yes yeah yeah yeah. but um yeah we're gonna get the usual champion yeah. versus champion one team raw one versus one team smackdown yeah still not sure what's going on with the men yet but we'll figure that out post crown jewel because that's yeah. all they're worried about mm-hmm. right now i would imagine it's probably gonna be those four against those four plus a fifth on each side probably and then we'll have a match between dean and seth no because nope. Seth is already... Dean is going to cost Seth that match, probably. Mm, makes sense. Um, Which is funny, because we really haven't seen anything from Nakamura in like the past like, three nope. months. Because he's too good right. to defend his title against the Nobody lacking... wants to be a part of Nakamura. Yeah. Or it's the fact that there's nobody <laughs> on SmackDown to face him. Like Ty Dillinger getting injured at a house show. I was going to say, they said he got hurt yeah. last night. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, why yeah. R-Truth faced him. Mm-hmm. So I don't know if it's true. That's, I know, I know I that know. I know that he It's probably Ty it. Dillinger posting uh, negative Crown Jewel stuff on Twitter. Well, he also apparently, I think it was last week, he posted a... He retweeted like a, from the box, too, and stuff no, like that. Well, uh, I was talking about how he, like, posted a picture of himself in a match. I was said, like, when I, I used to wrestle. When I used to wrestle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. It was funny. Oh, of course There's nothing it nothing not funny about it. So. All right, so let's talk about it. We finally had our cruiserweight versus, uh, I guess, regular... Regular weight person. Regular weight person. <laughs> Uh, the so revival the Re- versus lucha house party oh all right so the revival are in the ring and it's I'm like who the hell are they gonna face we just had the rest of the tag division in a triple threat match earlier on yep here comes lucha house party well they well they said the debut next of the lucha house party well they, they didn't say commercial. debut they said that no, lucha they said house party is up debut. next yeah. oh that's what they said yeah, i think so oh, okay because i think they created the faction during probably the yeah. 205 yeah so. Which, um, yeah. <laughs> it's so funny. Cause it, it's not it just, funny. It it's does, terrible. It's, it's Makes pathetic. Me want to cry. It's pathetic. It really is. Because it's like a team that had so much potential coming out of NXT and they just did nothing with them. Like the best team to come out of NXT. I mean, it's true. But, you know, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> it's too funny. It really is. But. It, how? <laughs> just, just how? But yeah, like this is how desperate we've gotten, where we don't have tag teams, so we're just gonna take 
but that, the <laughs> the question is why didn't the revival just go up against jobbers or why didn't they just make that fa uh, triple threat a fatal four-way or two separate tag team matches? or that I don't know. Whatever. They could have made a stupid tournament and just say the winner has a better shot at winning the tag titles in a later date. Yeah, that's fine. Some BS line. Yeah, I don't know. I like it. It's funny. Yeah. Um, so. All right, so let's speculate about something. What? So uh, I guess it was all but confirmed by WWE that Renee Young will be joining the commentary team at Crown Jewel. Yes. How are they going to go about this? I liked your idea of having her in a closet. <laughs> With a monitor? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Um, were they gonna dress her up like a traditional woman? Should, no, well, it, the when that's what it's all about, right? Is this? I guess the so. Body, female body being shown. Well, because when, when they had that big backlash, I'm sorry, I keep cutting you off. Yeah. When they had that backlash from posting the, you know, the video of Carmella and Sasha oh, yeah, and true. all that. Because what I was gonna say is, um, when they had the match in the, I know it's not in the same Abu place, Dhabi, right? yeah. What, the last time they went, when Sasha and Alexa faced each other, they just wore long uh, uh, sleeves. So and pants, technically right? speaking, if she wears what she wears to a normal raw, she should be all right. Not yes. what she wore to Evolution, because she was wearing like yeah. a really super short dress. But, um, but yeah, she normally wears like long clothes, so I, I don't see so. why. Maybe they'll make her wear a hat. <laughs> I don't know. <sighs> or it's not gonna happen. We're gonna get Booker T. <laughs> maybe or she'll dress up in a halloween costume i guess that's possible um so that list was a full list of all the superstars participating in uh crown jewel right yeah that's so funny there's only like, it's all the old men i know it's only, it's only like 20 of them mm -hmm. it's amazing but well, it kind of makes sense that they only that said, was their plan was to bring less people because last time they couldn't because they had yeah, the greatest well, royal rumble 50 people 50 and people yeah so oh, and then you had the random people from saudi arabia too well yeah but I'm just saying the Royal Rumble itself the, had 50 people. The knockoff. Uh, oh, the knockoff. Legends. Uh, yes. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty funny. Couldn't get you on for the Giants. Here's a guy that's seven feet tall. Yep. Um, but yeah, it's smart. That's a good reason why they did the World Cup is that they didn't have to bring as many people. It's true. I like it. And on SmackDown, we got some, you know, at least a little twist to things where Shane said that if uh smackdown superstar wow. loses in the final or loses in the finals they will uh no longer work for smackdown yeah i don't i would say get rid of randy orton so i don't have to watch him on smackdown but that's just gonna make roy even worse i guess i don't know randy's kind of like uh he's got to be into it i guess that's really right. what he it just is needs to stop uh, okay now I'm thinking about it. Mm. We keep on saying he needs to stop feuding with whoever he's feuding with. Mm -hmm. So maybe he is the problem. <laughs> that, okay. He just doesn't care. Yeah. It's just... I guess. This is what it is. I mean, if he got a hole to stick his finger through, then, you know, he's good. But outside <laughs> of that... <laughs> I mean, like, the whole thing went nowhere. That's true. Like, the thing with Ty. I mean, he was all of a sudden, you know, hurting him and then Jeff Hardy and then... It just... Well, they were clear that it wasn't supposed to lead up to anything. I guess that's true. Cause so he... It's not like they didn't yeah. say that. But we never figured out who his next victim is. And we may never. We it's may true. Never. We could not whatever yep um so this is when i fell asleep so apparently Dolph faced apollo cruz yeah obviously Dolph won there's a shocker um and then kane and taker came out and they kept on talking about how uh they're gonna bury dx blah 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 and then uh triple h's or dx music comes out or hits triple h comes out by himself <gasps> where's Shawn michaels and then uh, Kane goes to confront Triple H, mm -hmm. and then uh, Shawn Michaels runs from behind, super kicks the Undertaker. Kane comes back into the <clears> ring. <throat> Undertaker sits up, and Triple H and Shawn Michaels look scared. Sounds very compelling. It was terrible. I don't understand why. That's going to main event the show, right? It will. But yeah. what's the point? I, the World Cup Finals might. No, no. It's okay, gonna, yeah, it probably will be this. It'll probably be the Universal Championship match and then the old men. Yeah, that, that makes sense. But, but you, would, yeah, you didn't funny. need to do any of this. Literally could have had, leading up to Super Showdown, mm -hmm. you could have had Triple H make his speech, 
that uh, from the Raw that we went to right. back in August. Oh, yeah. Um, had The Undertaker accept nothing in between. And then just do the Super Shawn Michaels showdown. stuff post. Super Showdown. Shawn Michaels is in his corner. You can have Shawn Michaels make an appearance mm. and do one of his things. Super Showdown. Have the old men beat up the other old men like they did. Mm -hmm. and then, 40 minutes. <laughs> and then have Triple H call out them the next night. They accept. Done. That's it. That's it. That's all you need. You don't need all of this repetitive nonsense. Have the Undertaker and Kane do a uh, pre tape promo on Raw. And then the next night, because it's Raw 1000, have the, 1, yeah, yeah. SmackDown 1000, have the Undertaker come out and say the same exact thing. Well, I think it was supposed to be longer, but I guess they had time constraints. Because yes, because of Batista. <laughs> kept talking. Yep. So, But still, like at that point, why bother? <clears throat> it's true. So, but whatever. What are you going to do? Cry. I mean, I Complain. guess. Or you Moan. can just do what I'm going to do and probably not watch Crown Jewel. Oh, I like this. Two to be determined. Two to be determined. Two to be determined. Like, I know what it is, but yeah. it's still funny. Um, anyway. Yeah. Talking about SmackDown now. All right. So before we get to SmackDown, let's talk about it. Brother. Oh, God. So apparently, Hulk Hogan is going to be the host for Crown Jewel. Yes. I'm very excited. I'm sure you are. <laughs> <laughs> so, so you know, if WWE wasn't already dealing with enough controversy, let's... Mm -hmm. uh, at one of our most controversial stars. To be fair, it seems like it's kind of been, uh, like, not as bad with the Hulk Hogan stuff. Like, people seem to have stopped, like, outlashing about it. Well, it's you, been you know while. it's going to pick back up, Oh, though. I know, I know, I'm just saying. Because people are saying, oh, Hulk Hogan's going to come back soon. And it wasn't like, it's a travesty. A lot of people were like, you know... It was a while ago. Can't and... fight the power. Yeah. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. <laughs> it's true. Vince is uh, one of those, like, he's like a train. Just keeps going. Just keeps, just keeps on going. That's not true. They like to pull back on a lot of stuff or just have, uh, I guess well, the train goes off the rails. It's a difference. I guess that's true. Vince is like a train. Okay. <laughs> I guess when sometimes he's Sometimes something... he's talked out of things. Doesn't mean that he thinks that it's not a good idea. Yeah, but sometimes he wakes up and goes, I don't want to do that today. Yeah. I guess to change true. it around. But usually that's not based off of morals. That's based off of him being crazy. Oh, no. I didn't. Yeah. yeah. No, it had nothing to do with morals. It yeah. was just so. It was just said to be said. Mm -hmm. So, SmackDown, uh -huh. we got the originally scheduled w world title match, uh -huh. WWE title match for Crown Jewel, mm -hmm. Daniel Bryan, AJ Styles on smackdown live yeah they were very adamant that that match was supposed to happen on friday <clears throat> oh yeah they were Des pushing that to... despite the fact that all the reports said that daniel bryan was claiming to not go mm -hmm. be going to the show um, so basically what happens is aj and daniel bryan both say okay we want to fight now yeah we'll just do this right now and oh. then and then Shane comes out. He's like, "Well, normally this doesn't. When this happens, we just don't do anything about it. But this time we will, because yeah. <laughs> we have reason to." Yeah. So, uh, but I I'm guessing this was probably the schedule match for Crown Jewel. Uh, yeah, they gave it a good amount of time. Yeah, uh, it, was it had a almost a quarter, of, or it was probably more than a quarter of the show. Yeah, probably so, a third of the show. Yeah, it was good. I enjoyed it. Oh, yeah, it was entertaining. Yeah. Um, let's see. A AJ obviously wins because mm -hmm. he wasn't going to lose. No. Um, uh, I mean, there was the possibility that he could have lost it at Crown Jewel had it happened. I was, was going to say he couldn't lose here because no, that, that throws would, off everything. That would have ruined. Yeah, I know. That's what you like think about it. Daniel Bryan, the new WWE champion, who's not going to be appearing at the next show. <clears throat> That's uh, true. It's so, well, you could, they could have just easily done the Joe versus AJ thing. Hmm? Just not for the world title. I guess that's true. So <laughs> AJ wins, and then after the match, the two of them shake hands because they are... Sportsmanship. Yeah, I was going to say, they <laughs> are competitors that respect each other yep. at, in the end. Um, and then Joe comes out of the crowd, I guess, beats up AJ, and then Daniel Bryan tries to help, and Daniel Bryan gets the coquina clutch, and... Mm -hmm. That was about it. Yep. So now Joe is going to lose to AJ again. Um, and that's it. 
Are you sure about that? Uh, One million percent. <laughs> I've never been so sure about anything in my life. <laughs> Anytime Samoa Joe Samoa has a title. Samoa Joe will lose to AJ Styles. And what if he does? He will lose to AJ Styles. <laughs> there, there's no doubt in my mind. Because... Has there ever been a time in a title match that you've bet on Samoa Joe to win? Mm-hmm. We can look back at our predictions. <laughs> I think we might have to. We'll, we'll save that we, for the we crown jewel predi- uh, well, predictions the, video. The funny thing is there's really not that many of them. I know it wasn't the last few. I know I never picked yeah, Joe yeah, against AJ. Yeah, I guess AJ. that's true. And I think the only other time he had a title match was against, against Brock, Brock Lesnar. Oh, he had the, fade, the four-way at some point. Certainly didn't pick him. We no, picked no, no, him no. to take the pin for that that's one. That's true. Um, Roman took the pin. <laughs> yeah, which was very surprising. <laughs> Um, so I'm going to assume I've, I picked Lesnar for that match because that was very early into his title run. That's true. So, so yeah, no. (laughs) No. Have you ever picked Samojo to win a match? Uh, only (laughs) probably back in his NXT days. Oh, man. Yep, and then we got the confirmation of the Women's Survivor Series match as Paige asked Charlotte to be the team captain. Yep. Which she doesn't feel like she's the right person. Yeah, she'll end up being yeah, the of course team she captain will. anyway. Because so. Becky will have something to say. Yeah, yeah. Paige asked her to think it, think it over, so she didn't think it was a good idea, but she did leave it open to, uh, to thought. Yep. And yep. then we had Byron's favorite section of the night, uh, segment of the night, the Trick or Street Fight. This was one of their better ones, because I remember... Because they had people who weren't losers in it. The club versus... <laughs> was it Keith Slater? Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Um, oh, so, man. So you're there was, there was a lot harsh. of very funny references being thrown around during this match. Um, apparently, uh, Byron dressing as a baby okay. is the reason why they're not allowed to dress up as ho- for Halloween costumes anymore. <laughs> At least that's what Corey said. That's what he said. Yeah, because it was like you ruined it two years ago and you dressed up like a baby. <laughs> oh, um, man. Corey Graves said something about because uh, the New Day came out as the brood. Yes. Oh, so good. Yeah. And uh, Corey made a, uh, a reference to uh, Paul Smackage. Yep. Which was Edge's, like, old, 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 old name. Something like that. They reference it on their podcast all the time. Yeah. So that was pretty great. Um, Big E was Gangrel, and he did the uh, the blood thing mm-hmm. or the mysterious red liquid. Yeah, right. Um, but yeah, it, was, it was good. Yeah, and, no, they did a really good job yeah. with this match. Sheamus uh, came out as paler than normal. Mm-hmm. I guess he was supposed to look like a zombie or something. I don't know. I don't know. But it was it was uh, entertaining. Um, the end of the match just ended up with the New Day spitting the red liquid mm-hmm. in everyone's face. Yeah, because and... Big Show is going to choke slam Kofi and Xavier yeah, through a table and then he spit on him. Mm-hmm. And then Big E did the same thing to Cesaro, yep. right? And then yeah, because it was Cesaro beginning. versus Big E to mm-hmm. to clarify. I don't think you yep. said that. Yep. So, yep. Big E won. They have some momentum going into Crown Jewel. Sure. I still don't think they're going to win. Nope. Um, because the New Day doesn't need the tag titles to be entertaining and to have time. It's true. So It's true. It's, it's They keep on doing it where one show has a very strong tag division, and then the then the other show has nothing. Crap. And they just keep on going back and forth. Crap. So, whatever. Yep. Um, and we had the whole thing with Sheen and the same. loser getting of the World Cup tournament gets off SmackDown or whatever. Yeah. So obviously that just says okay, whoever is on Raw is gonna win. Pretty much. Yeah, that's pretty much what. It is. Pretty much. Um, and and we were discussing this last night. We can't really think of anything that makes sense for a SmackDown member to go to Raw. Yeah. Because, well, we'll talk about it more in our predictions video. Well, I'm just going to, like, not necessarily, like, I was just going to say, because, like, The Miz, mm-hmm. whatever show he's on is probably going to be the better show in general. Mm-hmm. So I don't think it makes any sense for them to send him back to Raw, <laughs> especially with Daniel Bryan being on. Yeah, Smackdown I would still. assume that's what they're going to continue, because it seems like that's what the reports are, that Daniel Bryan has really no huge role from now until the end of the year, at least. Yeah. He'll so, probably be in the Survivor Series match. Yeah. Be the captain or something like mm. that, if the, if that's what they do. Yeah. Still not sure. So, But, yeah, there's not a whole lot of obvious choices. Nope. 
Um, but you probably have him and the Miz on a team, and you get like a little back and forth yeah. between them. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely possible. Uh, AJ demands Joe at Crown Jewel, even if he has to defend the title or whatever. Um, we already discussed this. Yep. Uh, Nakamura versus R Truth. Yep. We R- talked about this as well because Ty Dillinger was originally supposed yes, to face, that's true. face Nakamura. Uh, R Truth and Carmella, probably one of the best pairings right now. Yeah. I mean, like I said, Carmella can get herself over in about any situation. That's true. And, it, and I was thinking about this uh, on Sunday. It's amazing. She got a hell of a pop, too. That and the fact that the only reason why she's in the position she's in right now is because Nikki came back. Because she came back. Carmella was on the face team for oh, SummerSlam. Right. Yeah. But Nikki came back and replaced Eva Marie, which mm-hmm. mean they didn't want to put her on the heel team, so they put Carmella on the heel team. Right. And that turned it, yeah. That turned into the fantastic heel run. Leading into the money in the bank. Everything with Ellsworth, mm-hmm. even though it was ridiculous. Yeah. But she and, was over as a heel. Uh-huh. And now, she's a great face because she's paired with, with a Archie. very entertaining yeah. guy. Yeah. And so, I mean, you can argue that's who she's paired with, but obviously no. she's the uh, one person in that uh, equation that she's excelled in. Yeah. You know, or, it, yeah. So. Because our truth can make anything funny, mm-hmm. but... They the still should have had him come out during Evolution. Go up, oh, my bad. <laughs> <laughs> Just appeared in the Battle Royal. That would have been good. Truth, what are you doing here? Uh, that probably would have been a lot of complaints. Yeah, probably. Yeah, yeah. So it's probably a good thing. He had didn't Michael do Cole it. there. He was playing on his phone during the Ronda Nikki match. Oh, you saw yeah, that? somebody uh, took photos of it. Or he's texting. Can't blame him. I guess that's true. <laughs> I mean, I was exhausted by that point. Uh, that yeah. was, you know, That's seven hours or thing. six hours well, of wrestling. Well, yeah, we did go to a whole show. two and a half hour show before that. It's true. Um, it's true. And then, oh. Oh, the Becky promo show. Mm-hmm. Oh, so good. It was really good. Like, and, this is what, I mean, the woman's division has needed. Someone mm-hmm. with a, a strong presence. Like, I mean, when Ronda had that, like, when the, she came in and all of a sudden everybody was like, oh, wow, she could be the next badass and stuff like that. That's how you were portraying her. And then it was just, whoop. Yep. Now she's just the super baby face. Yep. But we got Becky. It's true. So that's that's a big thing because she came out. She was like, yeah, I just want to fight. That's it's it. true. Yeah. No she, nonsense. She, I'm yeah. ready. I'm ready to break Ronda's arm. Mm-hmm. That's it. So it's funny because the both of them do arm bars. Yeah. So. That's probably going to lead into the story. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's it really writes itself. Mm-hmm. It's 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 good. It's going to be enjoyable. Yeah. Um, and then we have the tag match between the Miz and Orton versus Jeff and Rey Mysterio. Yep. Um, Jeff pins Miz, and then Orton RKO's everybody, which is not a surprise at all. He's going to RAW. Confirmed. It's possible. Done. But whatever. Um, that was oh, and mixed match challenge. Very entertaining. I didn't watch it, so um, I'll so check it out. We had, not to spoil it for you. Oh, no. I already know who won, so how's it a spoiler? <laughs> I don't know. Sure. Well, she didn't even need to watch it to know who won. I guess that's true. Because it was um, it was Mahalisha versus, uh, what are they called? Uh, Monster Eclipse, I yeah, think yeah, that's yeah. what they're called. Mm-hmm. Obviously, Braun and uh, Ember Ember won. Um, so that was, that was fun because... Braun stole Alicia's captain's hat. I'm mm-hmm. the captain now. Yep. That was good. And then we had a chop-off between uh, Fanta- Phenomenal Flair and Rusev Day. That was pretty great. It was fun stuff. The, it, it's so nice that they're able to, like, I guess, unwind and, like, actually enjoy wrestling. It's true. Yeah, no, absolutely. It's because, one of the best parts of it. Yeah, because, like, last week, I think it was with... Uh, when it was Bobby Roode and Finn Balor with the jackets, mm-hmm. uh, it's it's fun. Yeah, because normally they just can't do that kind of stuff. It's true. So it's good. Got to be serious. But yeah, it was it was yes. fun. Mixed match challenge still going. It's going strong. Yep. And this so. is gonna it ends, finals to be at TLC, right? Yes, in December. Very good. So, so uh, yeah, that was episode eighteen of our podcast. If you liked what you saw here, please like, share, and subscribe. Bye. Bye.